I was born in Hungary. I think that's where it was in the Trivus, and that's the uh, city that I was born in. You know, they didn't move to Czechoslovakia. They came from, I think it was Hungary at the time, all I could remember, that uh, we came here. My dad came first, and then uh, mother and I came. My mother was Slovak, and so was my dad. See, I, I don't remember anything because, like I said, I was uh, five years old, right. and uh, I don't recall anything from uh, when I lived there. Well, over there, I think they were uh, doing lumber work, cutting down trees, you know, and uh, that was hard work because I... Uh, I remember mother saying that they had to do that too, you know, to help uh, to cut down the trees and then they'd uh, dump them down into the river and they'd push them down, you know, and that was hard work and he would try to better himself so he came here and then uh, when he got enough money for our transportation, uh, then he sent for us. It was, uh, we got off the boat and then we got in the uh, I mean, I don't know whether it was a ship or whatever it was, but anyway, we got into the smaller boats, and uh, they were rocking, you know, and then we got off and, and we'll start walking on the street, out in the street, and that's all I remember there. I think it was just a mother and I, and I think we came on to Pennsylvania, and then my mother had a big uh, company house, you know, and she had boarders, that's the rumors. They had an upstairs and downstairs, and uh, uh, mother ha made a little extra money on that, you know. Where it was a big company in? house. They owned, uh, they owned everything, the city and everything, you know. So you didn't have no choice. Well, not too much. Only one. He had an accident in the coal mine, and he smashed uh, his leg. And the doctors wanted to amputate it. And uh, this man was knew enough. He says. He'd rather die than have his leg taken off. So mother said, okay. So she, at that time, she was nursing my brother. I don't know how old he was. He must have been about four or five months old, you know. And uh, they use, uh, had remedies of their own at the time. So mother said, well, she'll try if he's willing to suffer. And uh, so she started to clean it up and, and uh, then... Um, but I can't remember the name. Bob can tell you he remembers. I told him when I knew it. <laughs> and uh, those leaves, they'd wash them, and then they'd go like this to make a tender. So, And when she cleaned the leg off, and she put, uh, she, the time she was nursing, she put her milk from the breast and put it on that leaf and then put it all over the leg where it was sore. And she really cured it. And the man walked, and he was always thankful to Mother that she did that, you know. But uh, I was just wondering <laughs> what they were doing for bed Because at that time, you know, Dad was always helping her to pick him up, turn him over, because they would get bed sores, but he didn't have any bed sores. Like here, in the, when you're in the hospital, you get bed sores. And I don't know how they do that. She made lunches for the, them to take to the coal mine. They had pails like this, you know, with the top that opens up. Uh, they'd have a, a bottle in there to keep either soup or coffee, whatever they needed. Those lights on the caps, they used to call them carbine lights. That was my job in the evening to uh, fill those up with that carbine stuff so they have light when they went into the coal mine. It was dangerous. They were like my, uh, I don't know whether he was a knuckle or a cousin because, you know, they always had, you say, mister, and, uh, and then uh, we'd call him uh, uncle or they would go and uh, say how bad it was to get in there and that smoke and smell and especially when the, when they put that dynamite in and it would uh, blow up the coal loose then the coal miners had to uh, shovel it into the cars little cars they had and uh, that's how they got in but the one my uncle uh, he was killed uh, the mule kicked him when uh, he got scared somebody hollered or something and the mule got scared and he jumped up and he happened to uh, kick backwards and he uh, hit him in the forehead and killed him so my aunt was left with eight children 
It was the widow. Well, they didn't talk much about it. Like I said, when they, uh, after we moved from uh, uh, Bentonville to Oklahoma, it was on a farm. There was five of them. An agent got a hold of them and uh, sold them of a farm. But it was all, it was near the river. And when it rained, it always over flooded. You couldn't raise nothing. All there was nothing but snakes. You know when you see all these snakes in the movies? Well, that's what it was like. And then uh, the neighbor's little girl got lost, and my dad went down into the, uh, he dug a well, and the snakes took the well over. There was a bunch of them, just like you see in the movies. He was pulling a stick there to see if he could uh, feel a child in there, but she didn't fall in the, in the well. She got lost. She was two miles away from uh, home. It was near school. And... The Indians then, well, we didn't know, we just knew Indians, but they weren't dressed as Indians. They were like us. They brought them over, uh, brought the little girl over, and she had frozen fingertips. It was kind of hard.